talking about meal planning with one of my very favorite websites, Plan to Eat, and how to use it to make your shopping and eating and meal planning experience much more friendly and fun. And today I'm going to talk to you just a quick little tip about coming back to the site after you've gone grocery shopping and keeping your ingredient lists organized. This is a fun little tip, so let's get into it today. First of all, plantoeat.com, and then you'll sign in. We're here now in the recipes area, and what I want to do is come down to a recipe that I created last week. It was a new recipe to me, and I didn't know where some of the ingredients were in my store when I went shopping. So what I did was I took my shopping list and actually wrote down what aisles these certain things were located on in my store. And now I want to come back to that recipe and fill in those gaps. So this is a fun little tip and it really, really helps me. So let me show you. I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to find pumpkin mac and cheese. This is a really good recipe, by the way. I did have to type it in from Better Homes and Gardens, so I don't have a photo right now, but it was really, really yummy. What I want to do is click on Edit Recipe and I want to come down to the ingredients here. Now what I want to do is notice that the dried elbow macaroni just had the default category dry goods, but I actually found that on a certain aisle in my store, so I'm going to click on that and edit that at this point. I found it on Food Lion aisle 3, so I'm going to mark that, and I'm not going to save it yet. Normally I would come up here and just save it after I made that change, but I'm going to make a few changes, so I'm not going to save it yet. Now, any time in the future that I have a recipe that says dried elbow macaroni, the site will know that that's on aisle three. So I won't have to do this too many times once I tell it to mark elbow macaroni as food line aisle three, then it will know that in the future, and I really love that feature. Butter is, of course, in the dairy. I already knew where flour was on food line aisle four, or Walmart aisle 7. Whipping cream, whole milk, cheese. Now here, the canned pumpkin. I did find this. It was of course in the canned goods area, but I'd like to know what aisle it is, especially if I'm sending my husband to get it. I can say, go down this aisle and pick this up for me. So let's, let's change this one and make it more correct now. I found canned pumpkin on aisle 4, and that's also Walmart aisle 7. So I'm going to mark that one. And I'll scroll back down here. I see the rest of these are pretty accurate. So I just made that change to the macaroni and the canned pumpkin. But that way, next time, I'll, I'll know exactly what aisle it is. And again, I wrote this down on my shopping list as I went through the store. I took a clipboard and a pencil. And as I found these items, I marked them off. But then in the future, I won't have to think again of what aisle they're on. They'll already be in the system. And I won't have to, to think as much next time. So. I hope this little tip has really helped you. This has been such a big help for me. It's really helped me to make my grocery store visits much shorter because I know exactly what aisle things are on. So I hope you can use this tip and good luck again using Plan to Eat.